darlings, my name is Milo Yanopalopadopadus, and here is my fabulously provocative opening statement. <laughs> Do be quiet, you'll get your turn, darling. <laughs> True egalitarianism can be achieved only when each and every one of us is able to enter the free marketplace of ideas equipped with nothing other than the skills we have earned and the creativity we have nurtured, regardless of race, gender or sexual orientation. Hello. My name is Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon me, and here is my opening statement. Number one, there will be no peace until my religion dominates the world. Number two, men are superior to women in every conceivable way, obviously, and uh, oh, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, number three, all homosexuals should be executed. Right, well, the first item on the agenda tonight is this toxic myth of campus rape culture. The statistics are clear. During four years of college, the average woman has a 99.8% chance of never being sexually assaulted, regardless of however many ridiculous slut walks she may attend in her bra and knickers. However, schoolboys throughout the land are being taught that they are the monstrous perpetrators of sexual violence against the entirety of the female population. At immeasurable cost to their own self-esteem and, as a consequence, to the regard in which they are held by their overwhelmingly female teachers. Oh, are you honestly trying to tell me that schoolboys need to be taught that it's wrong to rape women? Oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with you people? Boys are fucking useless at rape already without any help from you. I mean, the other day, right, I was with my followers and we had this massive fight with a bunch of Bedouins. We won, obviously, and my crew came up to me and said, Oh, what are we supposed to do now? So I'm like, what the fuck do you think you're supposed to do now? You go and have sex with all the women that we've just captured. Duh! And they're like, oh, what? Well, the husbands are watching. Oh, we can't do that. It's nasty. And I'm like, oh my god, are you gay or something? These women are your possessions now. You can fuck them as much as you like. You see, that is the trouble with young men. They have absolutely no idea how to rape people. Uh, that kind of sounded a little bit... Rapey. Oh, well, next item on the agenda is body modification. Okay, if I go to my manicurist and say, Ooh, look at the state of me nails, they're shocking. Sometimes I feel like my own hand doesn't even belong to me. I wouldn't expect him to take me around the back and chop me fucking hand off. But if one of you lot goes to the doctor and says, Ooh, look at this sorry excuse for a cock I've got dangling between me thighs. Chop it off, I want to be a girl today. Then you expect the whole world to bend over backwards and distort reality until it matches what Whatever warped version of gender identity happens to pop into your head that day. All I'm saying is that chopping off any perfectly healthy part of your body is a bloody daft idea. If you're a boy, you should get the end of your dick chopped off. And if you're a girl, well, look, I'm not saying this is compulsory or whatever, and I'm not saying that you should cut severely, but it is definitely a good idea to get someone to slice off your clit. Let's talk a little bit about the presidential campaign, shall we? 
the sad thing is that all you dangerously fat uppity cows and you dreadful lank-haired social justice fops are so preoccupied with policing language from the comfort of your angry little safe space that you have no clue about what's happening in the real world. Donald Trump is not a sexist and he is not a racist. He is a populist. He speaks in plain language about the things that actually matter and that is why he's rating so highly with blacks and women. Shouldn't we be listening to them? Take my advice and vote for daddy. He is going to make this country fabulous. All right, let's talk about your presidential campaign. Now, you Americans have somehow managed to elect what all right-thinking people would consider to be the worst possible leader imaginable. An African with a head like a raisin. I mean, at first I thought it was like an accident or whatever, but then you went and voted for him again. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> However... Despite these horrifying circumstances, I would grudgingly admit that, yes, it is still advisable to listen to and obey your black president. But when I take a little glance at the latest polls, it makes me want to throw up. What the f- fuck are you guys doing to your country? You currently face the unthinkable prospect of electing a female leader. Everybody knows that no nation will ever succeed when it allows its affairs to be carried out by a woman. So take my advice and vote for Albag Daddy. He is fabulous! Yeah, let's build a wall! Hello, God! Are you kidding me? Are if at, 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 excuse me!